I am somehow in doubt. Uh, I uh, prepared the presentation in English. Uh, I think this would be an opportunity for our guests here to, to listen in a more direct way what I would like to convey to you. However, many in the room are Romanians, so uh, it's up to you to decide which language I shall use for this. It's okay, English. Okay. Uh, as uh, uh, President uh, Dutza said, one of the important issues in providing uh, firm support for a, a health information system is the so-called electronic health record. And uh, my uh, subject would be connected to uh, some uh, important issues uh, in uh, respect to this uh, notion. Uh, the agenda is quite simple. I would like to, to settle, if I may, uh, differences in terminology. We use uh, a lot of uh, uh, a syntagm which apparently are uh, synonymous, yet there are differences between them. Uh, I will try to present to you, which are in our opinion, the benefits uh, uh, EHR could bring, also which are the challenges uh, the persons uh, involved in implementing an uh, uh, EHR system will have to, to face. <clears throat> we speak about uh, several uh, definitions, as, uh, is, as I said, uh, personal health record or electronic medical record or electronic patient record or electronic health record and computerized patient record. There are differences between them. If I uh, may, I would like to group in three classes these uh, notions. The personal health record is something the patient himself or herself is responsible for. These are, uh, this is information the patient keeps about his own uh, health uh, status. For example, he perhaps uh, uh, measures his uh, blood pressure daily or he, if he is a diabetic patient, he monitors his uh, glycemia and so on and so forth. He says, today I woke up and I had a headache. Uh, today I was uh, 49 kilograms as opposed to yesterday when I was uh, 50 kilograms. I, I think this is valid for ladies. Um, electronic medical record or electronic patient record, these, in my opinion, aren't synonymous. Are the, uh, information the doctors uh, or the medical staff in the hospital uh, collect and keep. They refer uh, usually to one encounter regarding a specific patient and uh, I will detail uh, basically what the EMR contains. Uh, the <laughs> Electronic health record, or as it is called lately, computerized patient record, uh, is a longitudinal information which uh, refers to several encounters of that patient. Uh, it might rec record medical information since the person has been uh, born until, unfortunately, he, he will die. <clears throat> In any case, we speak about a systematic collection of health information in a digital form. Be, them, uh, uh, be this information collected by patient uh, himself or doctor or large organizations. As I said uh, before, this is the definition for PHR. So the patient stores everything which she, he or she finds important. 
Uh, and uh, this is very useful when the patient sees uh, the doctor, the family doctor or whoever, because it will give a more accurate information about uh, uh, how his uh, health uh, status has evolved. I'd like to say that uh, I apologize for saying a patient, a he patient, uh, I shouldn't discriminate between a he patient and a she patient, but, uh, well, it is more convenient to say only he patient, so please, ladies, apologize. I accept my apologies for that. This, as I said, is the information kept usually in hospitals. In the, in the informatic system kept by the family doctors and so on. This helps uh, not only the patient but also the insurance company since it's provi it's provi it provides uh, information about medication, about uh, 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 results of analysis and so on. Here we can see that apart from, uh, let's say, objective results such as analysis and so on, uh, we find a lot of provider notes uh, and these represent a great uh, difficulty in uh, obtaining the uh, proper uh, <coughs> digital record of information because provider notes are usually handwritten or uh, the, the, the medical personnel uh, in a legitimate way uh, avoid uh, using the computer to produce directly such information and prefer the old method of, of scribbling on a piece of paper. Uh, I begin to emphasize already the need for a patient unique identifier because this unique identifier is uh, vital if information throughout the system is to be retrieved and, uh, and accessed properly whenever the case is. And uh, the most general uh, type of information, the one uh, uh, President Dutz and his organization tends to reach, is the electronic health record, as, or as they called him, call it uh, the dosarul uh, electronic al patientului. Uh, this contains information about the patient uh, uh, throughout his life. Uh, in all cases, uh, EHR has, is patient-centric. So we forgot about times when the, the medical staff was the god and the patient the, the well, the, the <laughs> mortal. Sorry for that. Uh, nowadays, uh, the patient is uh, centric. The patient uh, is what it matters and all the other uh, service providers are, uh, are meant to offer him the best possible medical services, treatments, and so on. Uh, I will pass through this uh, uh, very quickly. I'd like to say that uh, uh, three sectors uh, have to be considered. The, one of the healthcare provider of the personal health uh, and the population health uh, as a whole. What is important at the end of the day is the fact that there is a part which is common to everybody, and this is uh, the identified information, which means uh, I don't attempt to use uh, private data of a patient. However, I, I will de-identify that information so the person will be anonymous. And this data, uh, without bearing any uh, connection to a physical person, will be used for research purposes, but not only that, for policy making in, uh, uh, in regional, at regional or national scale. The benefits are somehow obvious. Uh, the 
solution to connect without uh, any difficulties uh, systems uh, which are dispersed throughout the territory and to make them to communicate and collaborate for the benefit of the patient. Uh, it is uh, uh, possible to have access to information in real time. There is no need to send uh, letters with a mail, be it, uh, let's say, British, Royal British Mail. Uh, and uh, the thing which uh, apparently is bad but is good, uh, the introduction of EHR leads to a reduction in uh, uh, workforce in nursing industry, which does not mean in any way that the nurses will be unemployed, but they simply uh, qualify for a higher, uh, uh, higher level of, of service. EHR pre uh, offers the possibility to re-engineer the working processes and this, uh, this is uh, leading to benefits from uh, an automated, automated environment in which uh, costs are somehow diminished and accuracy is uh, increased. Well, this is quite uh, obvious. I will not read it. I will leave it for a few seconds for you to read. This is uh, somehow, uh, which in my opinion is very important, the fact that uh, uh, gathering piece of information which become interoperable, uh, it is possible to organize preventing programs, to monitor chronic diseases, and also to use uh, these, uh, uh, this information in uh, medical research and education. I am very eager to reach uh, the challenges uh, which, are, uh, which the implementers of such systems are facing. Everything here is nice, but uh, first of all, the technical environment is uh, is a, has a very fast dynamic, and uh, due to that. Uh, it is very difficult to implement changes quickly, uh, especially when we speak about multiple hospitals with uh, different uh, uh, informatic uh, systems. The need to ensure backward compatibility uh, before and after the introduction of uh, EHR, and this uh, legacy is somehow very, very, very difficult to very difficult to, to inherit. Uh, I could say that uh, from the experience, uh, Dr. Boero, now in this room, is, uh, well, uh, one of the persons who decided that his hospital needs an informatic system, and we are very happy to cooperate with him and his organization to introduce such a system in uh, uh, obstetric and uh, gynecology hospital in Ploiești. Uh, but uh, the problem of legacy, collecting data from old documents uh, some, somehow deposited in, in, in uh, cellars full of, uh, full of uh, well, uh, mold and other things is, is difficult. <clears throat> the data are non-homogeneous. Some of them are, as I said, handwritten. Some of them are uh, uh, diagrams, such as temperature diagrams. Some of them are uh, imagistic uh, uh, data, such as uh, EMR and others. To collect all this information in a unified manner is a challenge. The free text represents a problem because everybody expresses the same thing in different way. Uh, therefore, <coughs> uh, the, the 
informatic uh, uh, systems have been provided with vocabularies so the doctors use the same uh, set of uh, scientific uh, and specialist words uh, but again, uh, defining vocabularies and making all doctors to agree about uh, which terms should be in and which terms might be let out uh, is a problem. Uh, there is a set of indices pointing to each and every location, hospital, family, doctor, whatever, uh, where uh, uh, medical records connected to that patient X can be found. Uh, this is... Uh, tedious process. The alternative will be to have a search engine. So whenever you speak about patient X, uh, this search engine will try to locate where throughout the territory uh, medical records about patient X are to be found. None of them is, is uh, the best, otherwise only one will be in use. Uh, one uh, one uh, problem uh, often faced is the fact that uh, patients have multiple IDs and by that uh, identification of medical records is difficult. I would say that uh, until some time ago even the so-called uh, numerical personal code in Romania contained duplicates. So it, although it was supposed that each citizen will have a different CNP. Uh, practice proved differently. I know that. Uh, uh, I found out that when I was working in the Ministry of Education and found out that there are two or three, thing, two or three persons sharing the same, um, the, the same uh, CNP. I hope things have been corrected. The data in a EHR system are huge by dimension and diversity and therefore um, one can expect a slow system response unless you have the uh, up-to-date hardware. Something which is extremely, extremely uh, difficult to cope with, system crashes. You wouldn't like to have your information spoiled when you are in the process of, of carrying out an important, a major surgery. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, documentation about a case increases as time goes by and then it is more difficult to go through it uh, and so on. Uh, regarding the patient ID, uh, this requires uh, something uh, uh, which the CNAS, I think, uh, has taken into account because nowadays uh, the insured patient has a, a known medical ID, which is different from the CNP. Apart from being uh, uh, unique, it has the advantage of, uh, of not re revealing, as it is the case with the CNP, details about uh, personal uh, details of the person uh, to whom to which the to who the the cnp refers to in uh, identification in identifying a patient uh, world health organization has used uh, uh, a sort of directive in 2007 uh, and uh, the, the, fine, the five points are uh, presented here. We speak much, much about uh, patient uh, identification. We should avoid by any means to use names. It's better to use numbers, but then humans are more accustomed to names than numbers and uh, the switch over from names to numbers uh, is a challenge. Uh, single sign-on uh, is a complicated issue. Uh, we would like to have a system in which when I'm logged in, I have access to everything which is allowed to me. I don't have to 
log in, for example, to write a letter by using Word, then to log in again with a different username and password uh, to, to produce an Excel table, or yet to another uh, uh, user ID and password to, to send an email. Uh, based on that, single sign-on is uh, something to be desired. Once you are in the system, uh, you don't have to do any supplementary logging ins, which simplifies the process of accessing that information to which you have the right to. <clears throat> this requires, of course, establishing roles and uh, uh, observing a very strict policy that such roles are not uh, infringed with. For example, when I am uh, a medical doctor and I uh, log myself in in the system, I will have access to see only details for those patients uh, who are under my, uh, my uh, supervision and I have not, I, I might, I must, uh, I may not access uh, medical records of other patients unless I have their specific uh, approval. We speak about privacy, but we shouldn't only speak, we should preserve it. Uh, in order to preserve uh, privacy, we can use anonymization or uh, pseudonymization. Uh, this is the example uh, uh, typical for situations such as uh, medical units uh, which offer medical assistance, let's say to lawyers, to, to uh, personnel of the secret services and such uh, places uh, where uh, privacy and uh, anonymity is a must. Needless to say, uh, people must have trust that the DHR on one hand serves their purpose, on the other hand uh, is accurate, uh, is secure, does not allow uh, uh, infringement into their privacy. We spoke a lot about interoperability and uh, the conclusion is that EHR is something very much desired, is something which uh, costs a lot of money. Uh, Dr. Dutza said only that uh, UK has spent uh, uh, two billion uh, pounds for uh, such a EHR system. Uh, in fact, they started in 2004 with a project for th four billion pounds. In 2009, uh, they found out that it will not be ready by 2010, as promised, but it will be ready in 2014, and it will not cost four billion pounds, but 14 billion pounds. For the EHR in Romania, we have at the moment apparently 17 million euros. Well, from this to 14 uh, billion pounds, the scale one to 1,000 is not too bad. Uh, I thank you, and uh, I hope I wasn't very boring. Boring, but not very boring. Thank you.